Hello kids, uh, this is Adam here again. Uh, it was good to see you guys last month. Um, like I mentioned, we were going to start calving the 23rd of January. Um, actually, our first one came in the 15th, so they were just a, about eight days early. And that's kind of typical. But uh, right now, I'll just kind of go through what we do. Uh, I'll start back when they were bred. We turned the bulls out to breed these cows back on the 16th of April. Um, to make them come in the, the 23rd of January. Obviously not everyone gets spread on that day. They get spread out. Um, we give them, uh, we go by 283 days of uh, them being pregnant. We call it the gestation on the cow. It's 283 days. So, but right now we got the calves on the ground. We, I'm almost got 60. We should be about halfway in probably one or two more days. Um, right now I'll just go through and show you what we do to the calves after they're born. And I got some that just were born here and we'll go see those. So, First off, I'll we'll do this calf here. Uh, we're gonna put an ear tag in his, in his left ear to identify who he is. Um, it's 49, I match it up with what the cow is. And then we also give him a, a, a shot in the nose, a vaccine. Um, it's supposed to help keep him uh, healthy so he don't get pneumonia later on. So I'll just go, we'll just go show you how it's done right here. Put that in there for his ear. And then for his nose, you just ah, come on, yeah. Get him in here. You put it down each nostril. And it's about a one cc. I've already given him this calf the shot, so that's why I didn't give him one. But it's about it's one cc, you get that in each nostril. So that's what we do with these calves here. Um he's about he's two days old here. I usually give him that shot about one day old. So he's ready to be turned out. We'll let him out tomorrow. Mm. Now we'll go show you some other ones that were just were born here and show you some outside that are a couple mm. weeks old. So okay, this calf here was just born about five minutes ago. Um she just had him now she's licking him off, uh get that membrane off of him the and to dry him off. Because they're all wet, so and what they do when they lick them, they get that smell on them. Each calf has a certain smell, and that's how each one knows who their calf is. Um, I have to put an ear tag in them so I know who, who they are to identify them. But these cows, they just know by smell. And that's how they, they know who's, the, who's their calf is out there. They'll be, you can have a group of 100 out there, and uh, she'll find her calf out of that group of 100 because she has, that calf has a certain smell that she knows. So that's how they know. You can see he's already trying to get up. Um, that's pretty typical. These calves got pretty good life in them, pretty good vigor to get up and start uh, nursing the cow. So we'll just let her be here. We'll go over and see one that's actually nursing right now. This calf here was just born about an hour ago, and like I said, he's already up trying to nurse the cow. Um, she could do a little better job of getting him licked off. But anyway, uh, she got him, had him. He's been back there trying to nurse. He's on the wrong end right now. Um, Anyway, they need to get that colostrum. Like I told you guys before, uh, that colostrum is the first milk these cows produce. Um, I like to make sure they get it. You know, that first hour is really, really good that they get it. That colostrum is the first milk and it coats their stomach. It helps with their immune system. It's got all the mother's um, proteins, uh, vitamins, and minerals coming from the cow. That's essential for a good immune system. That's why they need to get it. Um, usually within the first six hours, but. Um, after that, then the quality of that colostrum starts to go down, so it's not quite as good. Usually, the first you know hour or three hours is usually mm -hmm. the best to get the most in them, get the most colostrum in them. So, said so these guys had that cow had uh, she probably had her calf like in a half hour. Um, once they get a water bag out, um, it goes pretty quick. They have it really in a hurry. Um, if there's no problems anyway, sometimes you might have a problem. Um, you guys know how they come out, they come out, just pretend like you're uh, going in to dive into a swimming pool with your arms up over your head, they come out with their feet first, with their head on top of their front feet, and then that's how they come out, spread out like that, and then they get up, so that's how, they, that's how they're born anyway, that's the typical way they're supposed to be born, sometimes they do come backwards, and then you have to probably assist the cow in getting them out, because it's a little harder delivery that way, so. That's the way it's, it is right now. Probably go outside and see some of the older ones anyway. Well, after they've been born, we leave them down in a yard for about three days, and then we turn them out here with the 
other group of cows. Now these calves here are about 7 to 14 days old right now. They're out here. This is our calf shelter here. They stay in, uh, stay away from the cows so the cows don't lay on them or step on them or something. They can get it out of the, out of the snow and the wind in here. So it's really nice. Um, I was going to mention one other thing we do once they're born. I have a little calf book up at the house. I write down the day the calves were born and uh, the sex of the calf, if it was a bull or a heifer, and then the, the tag of the cow. So I got an idea of when they were born and, and the day they were born and the sex of the calf. So I know that for later on down the road. I guess those are the main things we do when we calf here. Um, we look at these guys um, during the night, probably about every hour, two hours. When it's cold like this, probably every hour. Uh, when it's nice out, it's about every two hours or so. Um, you just gotta kind of keep an eye on them in case somebody needs help or if somebody's out in the snow. You don't want them out in the snowbank having a calf. So um, that's why we look at them pretty close, to stay on them. Um, after this, you know, we take them to pasture. You know, about May, and then uh, we'll give them a shot, another couple shots when they go to the pasture for. To vaccinate them again to help prevent help prevent them from getting sick, you know, while they're out in the pasture, and then we'll wean them here in, in the end of August. So that'll be their schedule for this year anyway. So wean them from their mothers anyway. So that's that's way what we usually do.